Okay, this is Cody. I uh, just got back from the hardware store. I am going into my shed. Welcome to my shed. And I am going to create an iPhone counterbalance for the new movie that Rusty and I are going to make called... Um, you, you don't get to know. You don't get to know. Don't even ask. Okay, here's your materials list. Uh, first thing is we have an inch and a half collar on one end threaded on the other. We have a inch and a half threaded cap, inch and a half cap, regular, slick, glue on. We have the inch and a half collar, T, half inch pipe, which we'll, we'll explain later. And we also have a half inch elbow. And of course, we have the inch and a half uh, pipe. The first thing I did is I took this saw that you're seeing and uh, I cut this collar with the threads cut about two and three quarters inch off and what we're going to do is we're going to take the glue we're going to glue this inside there and we're going to make something like that now I have a lovely assistant that's helping me that's me alright so there you have it that's uh, sort of what I was after could have glued the pipe into the collar uh, and then cut it. That would have made a whole lot more sense. So we glued the T on to the pipe. Just kind of give you a shot there. It's glued. All right, so pipe is glued into the bottom of the T. Uh, pipe's about two foot long, by the way. Okay, cap is glued onto the bottom of the um, iPhone counterbalance. And the way this is going to work is you take an iPhone, like so, and it's going to be... I know this is an eye touch. Don't give me flack. What you do is you put the eye touch, or iPhone, whatever you're using, and what we're going to do is put the cap on the threads, and I'm probably going to have to not cross-thread it. Ah! So we're going to put the cap on the threads and don't cross. See how much easier that is? And voila. And what happens is now all of a sudden you have a counterbalance that keeps you from shaking while you're running your iPhone because you shake like you're on drugs or something. So I went and found this lid. And this lid is going to work as a deflector for sound. We are going to put little screws into this. It is going to get mounted like that. And there you have your deflection for your sound. Alright, so there you have it. This is your deflector shield. Um, it would go sort of like that. Take your other little piece, which I've already cut. It goes in here. Um, you don't want to glue any of these because you might need some adjustment, either turning here or this direction, depending on uh, where your sound's coming from and whether or not the wind's blowing. This actually makes a decent wind block. We mount the iPhone. Of course, you want to mount it with the uh, microphone over here on the right-hand side. So you get this fastened down, you turn it, you turn it down, you got it secure. You see we're already filming. We've got our dish here that's catching the sound a little better. So if I'm filming, I'm catching sound. I'm full of weights here at the bottom, rocks or ball bearings or anything heavy, maybe about up to there. And there you have a counterbalance iPhone filming apparatus brought to you by Highway 55 Productions. Check us out. Look for our next video. The next big film on YouTube filmed with an iPhone professionally with hardware store materials. Check it out.